Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to recognise the symbol for a light dependent resistor and this is also called an LDR. You should then be able to describe how the resistance of an LDR changes in light and dark conditions and finally you should be able to explain how LDRs can be used in circuits. In the last video we saw that we can use resistors to control the potential difference in circuits. Here's a symbol for a resistor. If we change the potential difference across a resistor and we measure the current, then we get a straight line passing through zero like this. Now this tells us that the current through a resistor is directly proportional to the potential difference and scientists call that an ohmic conductor. However, as we saw, that's only the case if the temperature is constant. So in this video, we're looking at a different kind of resistor. It's called a light dependent resistor or LDR for short. Here's a symbol for an LDR and it's important that you learn this. Now in dark conditions, the LDR has a high resistance. However, in the light, the resistance of the LDR is very low. I'm showing you that on this graph. As you can see, we've got a high resistance when the light intensity is low, in other words, in the dark, and a low resistance when the light intensity is high. Now, LDRs are really useful as we can use them to detect light, and I'm showing you a good example of that here. When you put your mobile phone to your ear, the screen switches off to save the battery. We can do that using an LDR. Now I should point out that the circuit in a mobile phone is far more complicated than the one I'm going to discuss. I'm going to show you an extremely simplified way that you could use an LDR to do this. So take a look at this circuit. We've got an LDR in series with a lamp. The lamp is the backlight for the mobile phone screen. We've got a cell in the circuit with a potential difference of 10 volts. Now in the light, in other words when the phone is not held to your ear, the resistance of the LDR is very low. That means that it takes very little energy for the current to pass through the LDR. Because of that, the potential difference across the LDR is very low. Now remember that the potential difference is shared between components in series. So that means that the potential difference across the lamp is large. So the lamp now lights up the screen. If the phone is held to a person's ear, then the LDR is now virtually in darkness the resistance of the LDR rises sharply. Now it takes a great deal of energy for the current to pass through the LDR, so the potential difference across the LDR is very high. This means that less electrical energy is available for the lamp. The potential difference across the lamp is now very low and the lamp becomes very dim. This turns the screen off. Now we can also find LDRs in devices such as these garden lamps. Here the circuit's designed so that the light comes on in the darkness and then goes off again in the light. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on LDRs in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay so hopefully now you should be able to recognize the symbol for a light dependent resistor. You should then be able to describe how the resistance of an LDR changes in light and dark conditions and finally you should be able to explain how LDRs can be used in circuits.